Go watch that video and come right back. Go watch the video I just posted. Y'all are not going to believe this. I have got a story to tell. I'm making my coffee. Hold on. Oh. Lord God, help me. Help me, Michelle. Can you hear me now? Okay. Story time. And I had to come live and tell you because it's funny. But I'm all dolled up. This is dolled up for me. Because um, I had an interview with the Southern Voice today. A, a, a broadcast interview. It was so much fun. They have 3.5 million readers. But that's not what I come on here to tell you. So I put a link to a video. And if you ain't watched it, click over and watch it. It's on my YouTube channel because I couldn't figure out where to put the link so y'all could go where you could put the video. So after my interview, my interview, I said, oh my gosh, I got to get on live because after my interview, Y'all are not going to believe this story. So, y'all know I love my Snuggie. So, I'm all dolled up in my Snuggie, which is right over there. But I couldn't wear the Snuggie in the interview, so it's off of me. And I just got the interview and made my coffee so I could come on here and talk to y'all about this deer situation. So, I'm sitting here at the table working because that's what I do work even on book release day I have to work so I was finishing up a book when I finished it but that ain't the story y'all that ain't the story so I was sitting here and Eddie is sitting here and he goes oh my gosh I think that's a coyote chasing a deer and I I was stunned for a hot second and I'm like it's the day and there's a coyote chasing the deer so i stand up and i look and sure as shinova there is a coyote chasing a deer along the far side of almost the pond so i jump up no shoes snuggy 
And my bird, y'all know I got my bird. You know my bird? Let me show you my bird. So y'all know I got my little bird eggs. Well, my little bird, that's a whole nother story. And so I can't take down my tree, because the fake tree, because the bird has laid the eggs. So if we, oh, 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 she's, oh, she's flew off because she knows she sees me. So in my bird's nest, there's a bird's nest. There's little birdies. Three. So... She, my bird has gotten smart. So now she sits looking in the window and any movement, she runs off. She flies off. And I can't have no little birds being cold because it's cold here. So we don't go out the front door no more. I tell Eddie, if we're going somewhere, we go out the back door down the stairs because we ain't going to bother mama bird. And I am not going to feed little birds like I used to. Remember how I used to feed um, uh, the bird, the birds? Remember how I was feeding the birds? And, and remember I was feeding the mice, that kitten milk? Anyway, so today um, I was finishing up a book. And so I'm sitting here and Eddie says, oh my gosh, Tanya, I think there's a coyote chasing a deer. And I said, again, I got up. I looked around and I saw this coyote and deer as fast as it could go. And I jump up. I had my snuggie on. I jumped up. I hit that front door. And Mama Bird was not even at all expecting me. She comes flying out, hits me in the head on the porch. Now, as you can see, Mama Bird's okay. So I take off. Y'all, I take off and my Snuggie, it, it looked like Wonder Woman. It was a flailing, flailing behind me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to get to this deer. And so y'all can see where the pond, there were the, the, um, gotta go over this way. You know, there's the stone fire pit and on the stumps, you can kind of see right there is a big old stick. So I grabbed that stick. I'm not kidding y'all. I grabbed that stick and I take off down the path. And at this point, there, I gotta, I gotta move over here so y'all can see. So at this point, the deer and the coyote are over here. And here I am over here. And I was like David with Goliath on that stick. I was like, no, no. No, if I had a stone like David, I could have and hit that coyote. But that coyote, it looked good. It wasn't sick. It was big. It was big. And all of a sudden, no joke, y'all, I'm screaming, no shoes, snuggy. It is cold. Coyote stops right there. Right there. Right there at the end of the pond. You know, by my um, grateful, my little grateful bench stops right, right before that. And the deer, it's still going, but the coyote stops, hesitated, like what? And I said, leave that deer alone. And I'm running still. And by this time, I'm about down by that wood pile, right? And he's over here, big coyote. And also I think, oh, well, if he can chase a big old deer that's bigger than me, I might become the coyote food, but I still keep going. And then he hesitates. The deer is up in the woods, and then he bolts up in the woods. So I go, I'm still running. I'm still going to kick his butt, right? And so he gets up there, and I look down, and I'm like, no shoes. But by this time, I've lost the Snuggie. The Snuggie is on the trail. I've lost the Snuggie. And um, I, I get down there and I'm whacking on the tree. And I'm like, don't you get my deer? Don't you get my deer? Trying to scare them off. And I don't hear nothing up there. So I come back because I'm thinking, well, they're up in the woods somewhere. And I think I gave the, the, the coyote a scare enough for the deer to get away so i come back around and i'm picking up my snuggie and i look up at the front porch and there's eddie sipping on his coffee i said why didn't you get the gun and shoot the coyote that was gonna eat the deer drinking his coffee and i was like you have got to be kidding me 
drinking his coffee while I am saving the animals, people. So I come inside and I found the footage from the video camera. So what I deducted was the deer was walking up the driveway and it turned to go by the barn and it went into the woods on that side. I bet it woke, walked up on that coyote while it was sleeping. And the coyote jumped up and I bet the coyote uh, was like, oh, wow. So I'll show you the video again. I mean, the video is crazy, but I put it up on YouTube just so y'all could go to it because I didn't know where I could, how to post it while I was talking about it. So the deer was coming up the driveway right there, right? And it turned to go this way. So in a few minutes was when I was doing the camera, looking back at the footage, and you see the deer jump and then the coyote. So here, watch. Watch. Oh, there's a deer. There's a coyote. And then you don't see me. I am, uh, y'all, I was out of here. Snuggy and all. I'm not kidding you. I had that stick. My throat was hurting because I was screaming so loud. Oh, my gosh. I was freaked out. So then like an hour later, two deer come out of the woods. And I'm like, Eddie. You have got to go up there and see if the deer is okay. I cannot be the David to the Goliath in these 100-acre woods. If if that coyote, I mean, the coyote could have gotten me easily, but oh my gosh, y'all, I'm not kidding. If y'all could have seen me, as soon as I saw, oh my God, that is a coyote chasing that deer. I was out, and then the bird that hit me in the head, hilarious. So Eddie's laughing, right? And he's sitting on the front porch looking at me when I come back. I'm like, oh dear God, heavens me. So um, the bird is okay. Y'all saw her back in there. But anyways, and so two deer, like an hour later, come trotting out of the woods. And I'm like, did you go up there to see if the deer were okay? And he said, oh, that's one of them. Looks just like it, tell and all. He didn't go up there, but he says it's that one. So we're going to believe it's that one because I haven't, I mean, we have deer back and the turkeys are out. So um, I wonder if, now currently Eddie has done, what? Eddie is out there by the pond right now scaring off the duck. He don't like ducks. I said, what is wrong with ducks? I don't want no ducks on the pond. <laughs> He's out there scaring the duck. I leave the duck. So anyways, can y'all believe that about that coyote and that deer? And I mean, I'm not kidding y'all. I wish y'all could have seen me hit that door. I hit the door running and that bird, it flew out of that nest and popped me in the head. And, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I had that interview today. And I thought if I have got a bird beak indention on my forehead, when I answer these questions, That'd be something to tell. Something to tell. Yeah. Ain't that something? Can y'all believe that? <laughs> I, I started texting my people. I said, I sent the video. And I said, well, y'all ain't gonna believe this. I wrote, um... Oh my God, I was working when this happened. I said, a coyote right after a deer took off running out of my house, grabbed a huge stick, chasing them around, hit by, <laughs> hit by a bird. They headed up into the woods. I caught the Cody off guard, so he hesitated, letting the deer get a big lead. A little bit later, two deer came out of the woods, scared me to death, and I wrote, holy shit. And then my sister said, Ace Ventura. I go, ha, 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 yep, my mama bird took off like a jet when I hit that front door. <laughs> And then she sent me something about Richard or Jerry Springer passing. Jerry Springer's a big deal around here. So anyways, they interrupted the news for it. But oh, yeah. So then I was texting my kids and Austin's like, that is awesome. I'm like, it's not. I almost got eaten by a coyote. 
okay, well, I almost didn't get eaten by a coyote, and a coyote almost got, if I had a stone, like, I mean, I was, I was whooping that thing around and just trying to make myself big, you know? <laughs> oh, God help me. But anyways, yeah, so um, I just um, got done answering some questions, which were really fun, and um, it's release day, so that's really fun, um, and I had a book bub deal, which is really fun, and then tonight I'm taking Brady out to supper, him and my niece Maddie, so I'm looking forward to that. We're going to Red Robin. That's a little selfish on my part because I love the Red Robin, and they probably didn't want to go to the Red Robin, but I like it, and I wanted it. So I'm taking them out here in a minute. So that's how I'm set. Normally I go to Dunkin' Donuts and buy somebody some coffee at, on release day. But I didn't do that yet. I probably will later though. The night is still young. The day is still young. I'm still looking out there. Anyways, that's my release day story. That all happened to me today. I hope you go check out that video. All right. I love you all. Thanks for a great release. You're the best. Oh, yeah. So another thing, I think I need to get professional pictures made or something. So this is like the fourth person that asked for like a picture to go with an article or something. And I just like snap a picture before I go on the interview. So like today, right before the interview, I like snapped a couple pictures and said, well, I don't have any professional pictures. So I snapped my own. <laughs> I probably need to um, get some pictures made or something. I don't know. Nah. Well, and he bought that big fancy camera. We don't use it much. You know, we just don't use it much. Hmm. Uh-uh, we just don't use it much. Oh, I have a scammer. My friend uh, Jane Dietz said, we love those scammers. Get off! If you're not buying books or if you don't like to chat, get off! We're going to spam you. Maybe I should go spam them right now. Yeah, I really need to go because now I'm procrastinating. Really, I need to go start a new book. Re not read a new book write a new book because I just finished one today so let's see Brenda says he's from Africa well we love Africa but not spammers from Africa let's see here spammy 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 Africa. oh look <laughs> I can hear myself singing Okay, dude, where are you? Oh, let's see. Oh, man, Tanya K, I can't. Oh, here we are. Um, well, I'll spam him when I get off here because I got to go. I got to go work. I love y'all. Happy release day. I hope you're having fun reading the new book. Well, oh, yeah. So I did. Um, somebody about the Iron Horseman. Yes, I did. I went over to the motorcycle club. Remember, I happened upon it a few weeks ago. Well, not a few weeks ago, a few months ago. And I'm like, what is that? It's a campground. And it's a motorcycle campground, a motorcycle club, the Iron Horseman in Cincinnati. So I just went right on up there in my Fiat. It's as big as a motorcycle and said, hey, tell me about your people. Oh, they aren't, they don't hurt people. They said, oh, we're good people. Oh, I didn't say you weren't good people. Just tell me about your people. So that's what I did. The Iron Horseman. <laughs> Go watch my dear video. I almost got eaten by a coyote. 